Hey y'all, it's Stacy. So I am actually in the freaking weirdest position right now. I am laying on my bed. If y'all know where my bed is, it's right beside this table. <laughs> I, I'm actually right here. Hi! <laughs> so that I can get a good shot at my vanity. And this is just, I don't know, I just thought it might be fun. I took a picture of my vanity and put it on um, Instagram. And I thought it'd be fun to kind of just show y'all through it. So, yeah. Um, this is my vanity. Um, the table actually came from Walmart.com. It's called a writing table. And it was $39. And it's perfect. I love it. This chair came from... Where did the chair? Home Goods. I think it was $29.99. And then the garbage can also came from Home Goods. And it was like $9.99. So, it actually this used to be in our office and so it matched but now that it's in the bedroom that's tan and got the lime green accents it doesn't match so I might change it out here eventually but anyways yeah the and then the mirror up here came from Bed Bath & Beyond so it was actually a wedding present and look who it is Fucky are you CP? Is that, did you steal daddy's spot? Did you take daddy's spot? Yeah. Till then, he gonna get you. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna actually get closer so that you can see everything. The mirror in the middle, right, let's see, right here came from Target. And let's see, these clear drawers came from Muji.com. And this lamp right, here came from Walmart. It was like $9. It's actually, or $5. It's actually a desk lamp. It's got a little organizer thing that spins and it's got a plug in the middle. And, um, yeah, so let me show y'all, um, up close. So I have to get off of the bed and come around here. And I was actually watching Bridesmaids, but I turned it off so I could show y'all my vanity. Okay, so let's have a little sit down. <sighs> and don't mind me, it's literally, can you see that? It's 5.36 in the morning. See? So, I mean, I just like crawled out of the bed. Okay, and that's gonna be really annoying, so I'm gonna turn it like that. Okay, so, in my little pullout drawer, which just comes with a little pullout drawer, I have my makeup, makeup remover wipes I have some samples from my glam bag and in here I have ponytail holders and clips and this actually was a my glam bag and then I have this little acrylic thing that I keep my pencil sharpener in that way the shavings don't go everywhere and that's pretty much all I keep in there and then starting up here I have my dry shampoo I have my makeup, eye makeup remover, which I love this stuff. The Neutrogena. Um, it's actually really good. You have to shake it, but it works really good. And then I have my miniature hairspray by Tresemme. I have my Pond Dry Cream. I'm sorry, Dry Skin Cream, which I have used this for probably, I guess, 10 years. Yeah, 10 years since I was 19. And I cannot live without this stuff. Like, it's... I have really dry skin and that stuff just works wonders. I adore it. Now this thing right here, I got asked a little while back where I got it from and I actually said the wrong place. I said that I got it at Hobby Lobby. I did not. I thought I, thought I did. It's actually a vase that some flowers came in that I gave my mother. <laughs> and then she asked me if I wanted the vase. Or she was like, do you want this? I was like, yeah. And so I just assumed she got it at like Hobby Lobby, but it was really the vase to her flowers. So isn't that cool? I mean, it doesn't look like a vase. It's beautiful. Um, and then the inside, I just have bean bag, um, uh, bean bag stuffings, and I got those at Michaels. And then I just stuck all my eye brushes in there. And then I have some Living Proof Styling Cream, which came in my glam bag. Um, I haven't used it yet, and that's my velcro roller that I use at the top of the crown of my hair so that I get some volume and then this stuff came in my glam bag that I really really love it's by Derm Store it's called Lim Qu Lip Quench 
and it's formulated with maxi lip to give thin dry lips a fuller smoother hydrated appearance so yeah i just started using this stuff and i i love it i'm telling y'all i highly suggest if you would like a little something you know to get in the mail each month with girliness to subscribe to my glam um it's it's really great you get so many things in there and a lot of times they're full size and it's just totally worth the money it's ten dollars that includes shipping everything and then i have my revlon photo ready foundation which i have in three different shades and that's because i do self tan um with saint tropez self tanner so you never know what shade i'm gonna be so i just come prepared i adore this stuff i actually choose this stuff over my and i i've always worn really thick foundation always i prefer it over my studio fix mac um foundation which this way this is powder yeah, I must have thrown away the um, the foundation, but it came in this same compact, and it was really thick, and um, probably twice the price of this, and I prefer this. So this is really great stuff. It's got really good coverage. It's very even. They've got great selections color-wise, so I highly recommend Revlon Photo Ready. I know some people say that if you're taking pictures, um, your face turns out a little whiter. Um, I don't know if I've noticed that. Uh, they say because of the flash and the SPF or something like that. I'm not sure that I've noticed that in a lot of pictures, maybe in like a couple, but I just really love that stuff. Okay, so these drawers right here, these clear drawers, they came from Muji.com. I will link it below. They are the most awesome drawers ever, and I actually probably need to order some more because I'm outgrowing them a little bit. Um, now, this thing right here is actually a remote control holder, which is kind of weird. I don't even know why I started using this right here, but I did. And I just keep some of my bigger items right here. Like, I keep my curling iron back here when it's cooled off. Um, I keep just, you know, my scissors in case I need to clip something. Um, my nail files. Up here, I keep my primer potions, my shadow primer potions, my mascaras, um, my nail buffer, and my eyelash curler. And then back there is a nail buffer. And then back here, I have an acrylic container that I got from Michael's. It was like $3, and I just keep some of my brushes in there. And then this is actually a bathroom thing that you I got from Walmart that I used to keep cotton balls in, but now I keep my face brushes, which I need to wash, like need to wash definitely. And then over here, I just have my iPod home and this desk lamp. And this thing actually spins, which is really cool, and I keep cotton balls in it. And then there's a plug right there so you can plug something in so yeah that's just kind of an overview now i'll just kind of show you what's in each drawer um i'm not a makeup collector by any means but i do wear makeup and i do you know buy it so yeah okay so this is my first drawer which is concealers and powders because my foundation's on top so yeah i just have um I really love this stuff. It came in my glam bag. I totally sound like I'm like an a like what do you call it when you sell stuff? Spokesperson? Not spokesperson. Affiliated. I sound like I'm affiliated with my glam bag, but <laughs> I just really like it. Okay, anyways, this came in there. It's a full size. Um, it's duo color concealer, and I just adore this stuff. I use it every single day. Um, and then just i think this is this is physician's formula i use this under my eyes i have really bad under eye circles um so yeah and this is the photo ready powder that i actually prefer this over the mac so yeah i use this opposed to the mac and this is of like a half the price um it's really great coverage i love it okay and then, and these Muji drawers, if you're wondering, this is the five stack, and I believe it was $29.95. Well worth it. These are my bronzers. Um, I use this one every day, the Natural Bronzer by Rimmel. I really like it, and I think this is like $5, very cheap. It's funny, I, I honestly choose the less expensive stuff over the more expensive stuff because I have this MAC Mineral Lies Skin Finish that's the same color, but for some reason I always grab for this. Um, 
you know I don't know but it's really nice to have options it really is um, and then if y'all seen my morning vlogs y'all know that I love blush and I just basically pile it on I don't know why I've always done that but so I have you know just a selection of blushes and these actually come out which is great that way you can see everything this I would say is my favorite blush it's by Clinique and it's actually called breath breathless berry it's actually um, a bright I would say it's kind of a brighter color so if you're not into brighter colors I would not recommend that if you are totally recommend it I love Clinique I've always loved Clinique um, this my friend Jamie actually gave to me it's uh, the elf blush um, and it's in the color what color is this she probably knows pink something I guess the sticker is that it tickled tickled pink yeah now this is my second favorite blush and I actually use this when I'm going for a less like pinky look but still pinky and actually to be very honest Bella Bomba is my all-time favorite blush by benefit but this stuff is in my opinion expensive um, I think it was like it's either $19 or $29 I, I think it's closer to $29 but it as you can tell I'm I've I mean the pan is completely showing so I don't have much left so that's why I quit using it so I could kind of savor it but yeah this is uh, obviously my favorite blush in fact I probably just need to go get another one and just use this up because I adore it um so yeah okay let's get that back in it's hard to do oh that's the wrong place silly girl hang on I want to get this in correctly that's not correctly hang on y'all I'm sorry okay that's correctly okay this drawer is um, just different odd things um, this is a really great okay this is by a company called okay which with a B slap cosmetics I don't know if y'all have ever heard of it but they have really funky packaging and this is called the corrector in light but I use it for an eye base and it is fantastic this thing was $16 it is actually a huge size I've had this for a long time and let me show you um, how much I have left I mean I've had this for a really long time and look I mean this thing is awesome so yeah y'all should check out their website and then I've just got a bunch of different eyeliners, different kinds, different shades, everything. I always wear liquid black eyeliner on the top and then I wear blue um, on my waterline. That's just, I don't know, that's just how I do it. Um, the Falsies Mascara, I will go ahead and say I know a lot of people really like this. I didn't care for this. I, this probably needs to be thrown away. It's been in here for about three months and I just don't care for it. Um, but yeah, just some eye stuff. And then down here is some uh, lower end eyeshadows. Like these came from a store, I forgot the name of it, but they were like $5 a piece maybe, $4. But they're really pigmented and they work great. It was a local store. I think it's called the Z Outlet. Yeah, it is. And I have like three of these compacts, three or four. Um, and I do abs absolutely love those. And then LA Colors, I got this from the Dollar Tree, and I think these colors are very pigmented, and it was a dollar. And then CoverGirl, I mean Maybelline, I adore Maybelline um, eyeshadows. And this is actually the one that I wear every single day. This is my go-to one. I wear this on the lid, and this in the crease. And let's see, this is Sunlit Bronze. Yeah, this is Sunlit Bronze. Now, I I actually have a backup of this one down there because I just love it a lot. And then my Wet n Wild trios, I adore Wet n Wild as well. Okay, so we'll put my picture back of me and Mama. And then over here, I have just some higher end eyeshadows. I have my uh, Laura Mercier um, compact that just has like. Um, I don't know it's got some really pretty purple colors like it's got this 
purple, dark purple glittery, and then a light purple, which this is what I'll wear together. I'll wear this on the lid and this in the crease. And then this gray color is absolutely beautiful. Love it. It's great for a smoky eye. For like for this on the lid and then do a darker color in your crease. And this is, let's see how I can turn this light on. Why didn't I do that to begin with, y'all? Um, ah, oh, why did I do that? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, that's beautiful. Persian Rose is a really beautiful blush. And Palace Pink, I would call a highlighter, but it's actually a blush. Um, but yeah, I really like my Laura Mercier Compact. And then I just have some Merle Norman back there. I have some MAC eyeshadows, which I'm just not a big fan of. Um, that's why I only have two. And this is a NYX uh, baby pink color that I got in my glam bag. And then this Urban Decay also came in my glam bag. This is the color Sin, and it's a full-size eyeshadow, which is, I think, like $15 or $17 usually. And then my Urban Decay Ammo Palette, which I really adore. And then these are just all singles. Well, singles or duos. This is obviously not a single or a duo. It's a quad. But I really like this. It's I like pinks um, a lot. A whole lot. So this is probably another one of my favorite colors. And then this is what I use as my highlight color. It's by Maybelline. And it's called Vanilla. And I actually prefer this to... Is it Gesso? Let's see. Yeah, by Gesso. I prefer the Maybelline to Gesso. And then this is just lipsticks. These are all from Ulta. This is a Smashbox um, palette, which I love. Um, those are just some double-ended lip pencils from Nor Merle Norman. I know a lot of people probably have never heard of that. It's a, um, it's a store, like a makeup store. They don't have counters or anything like that. And when I was a teenager, this was the only like high-end makeup store in our town. So that's what all the girls wore. So that's how I got started on that. Um, then I've just got some NYX Jumbo lip pencils, lip liners. I've got some NYX lipstick from my glam bag, some um, other lipsticks. Then I've just got some lip glosses. NYX is my favorite lip gloss, absolutely. Um, Buxom, Elf, Random, uh, lip gloss from Bath & Body. And then this is just my tools drawer. So, with my fake eyelashes and everything. So, yeah, that's just my little vanity tour. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And y'all comment below. I love reading them. And y'all have a great day. Love you. Bye.